Hello there. In today's video, we're going to talk about a quick hack we like to use with our customers and it involves a validation rule, permission set, and how to use a permission set to bypass any validation rule that you have in place. So without further ado, let's go to Salesforce and I'm gonna explain how to do it live. So let's go to Salesforce and check it out, okay? So we do have a, a, a validation rule that's blocking me to save this opportunity because it says implementation fee cannot be blank. Okay, I'm gonna put a number, save, and it's fine. But there are many cases where uh, people that are, are not involved in the process need to just update a quick thing at the opportunity level. And honestly, they don't need to see this validation rule. It doesn't make sense for you know their role in this opportunity. They're not even responsible to know, you know the implementation fee. So what we like to do here internally and it's very helpful so we don't need to go and edit the validation rule every time we need uh, to include an exception and you know if you include an exception for one uh, validation rule it's very likely that you need to include a, an exception for many other validation rules that you have in place to avoid editing the each one of them what we like to do is include a uh, permission set in the logic. That way you just have to assign the permission set to a user and this user will bypass any validation rule that has the permission set included in the logic. So let's see how to do this. Let's first go to permission set. So when you click users, you find permission sets right there. We already created one. First step is actually type in custom permission in this setup. Create a let's let's create a new one. I think it makes more sense. So bypass validation rules v2 just have to create their name and go back to permission set once you are in permission set create new let's put the same name uh, bypass validation rules v2 choose I like to use the Salesforce license doesn't really matter I just like to use it it only applies to Salesforce anyways then once you are in this page hit custom permissions click edit and you'll see the available custom permissions and you see the one that you just created you click add save and you should be good to go and then a third step is actually uh, manage the assignments and include every you know user that needs to bypass let's say the opportunity validation rules I'm gonna choose my own user and click assign. And now I'm going to uh, get back to the validation rules. I need to include the bypass logic. So what I'm gonna do is choose that one for the implementation fee. I'm gonna edit. And the wording that needs to be used for this is hit the insert field, 
choose permission and choose the bypass validation rules v2 we created earlier in this video and make it says equals true actually equals false what it means is it's gonna trigger the validation rule when the implementation fee is empty and at the same time the user does not have the permission to bypass validation rules make sense so hitting save and now going back to that opportunity we should be able to save an opportunity without the implementation fee yep it worked and very helpful as an example a csm needs to update a, just the csm section at the opportunity without having all the problems and trouble filling all the <laughs> information that validation rules requires from a salesperson as an example okay hope this video was useful if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and also subscribe for more technical content from linkscale thank you